Okay, what are we here to talk about today? Well, interestingly enough, we're here to talk about common pitfalls in real estate. Common mistakes that either sellers or buyers make that um, invariably result in lawsuits. Unfortunately, I'm sure it's no surprise to any of you out there that the United States is by far the most litigious country in the world. And in keeping with that theme, real estate is certainly no exception. There are plenty of lawsuits in real estate on both buyer side, seller sides, and of course, the Asian side. So, we'd like to talk about some common mistakes that result in lawsuits and uh, what you guys might be able to do to avoid them. Okay, as a seller, some questions that I, I, I'm asked for my sellers, what should I disclose and what shouldn't I disclose? Excellent question. Well, before I answer that, let me preface this by saying 99.9% .9 of all seller-related lawsuits result in disclosures, either failing to disclose or disclosing wrong, which is another way of saying fraud. Don't lie, folks. Don't ever, ever, ever lie. There's no reason to. It's unnecessary. And if you think you might be able to get away with something, here's what I'd like you to do. Make a cost-benefit analysis, and obviously, on the benefit side, put what you're going to get away with. On the cost side, put what might happen if you get caught financially, um, to your reputation, of course. And if you don't know, call a realtor and ask, and he'll tell you what's in store for you. It's never a good thing. Now, on the very rare off chance that the upswing could be possibly hundreds of millions of dollars, which for any house in Southern California that I've seen recently, it's not that case. Tell the truth, folks. There's really nothing to gain from lying. So to answer the question, what should I disclose? What should I not disclose? Disclose everything. Okay? Disclose everything that you know. Now let me qualify that answer and explain what I mean. If you have some guy, just some guy, walking down the street and he says, oh, by the way, uh, I think your house has mold in it. I think you have um, an environmental problem on your house. I think you have a gas leak. Well, who is this guy? Do you know him? Is he a credible source? Do you need to disclose that a stranger told you that you have a gas leak? Do you need to disclose that a complete stranger who you don't know told you, gave you their opinion on the house? No. However, if you know something to be true, and it's a fact, you better disclose it. This is where all lawsuits stem from. A seller failure to disclose a material fact about the property. Now, what is a material fact? A material fact is something that either you know for sure, or something that maybe you don't know, however, you have been informed by a credible source, i.e. a professional. Someone with a license, someone who has told you, look, sir or ma'am, whether or not you might realize this, this is the fact on your property. Maybe you didn't know that you have termites, for example, but you got termites. Maybe you didn't know that your house is, has a huge foundation problem, but you have one. The moment you become aware of the problem or the issue, it is now your responsibility to disclose, assuming, of course, there's somebody to disclose to. Now, what does that mean? Well, if your property is not under contract and you don't have a buyer, there's really nobody to disclose the issue to. However, the second you get one and you got a buyer on the hook, you let them know as soon as humanly possible. What does that mean? Well, before you go under contract preferably, or if you're already under contract and you become aware of this, you draft an addendum immediately. You let the buyer know and provide the buyer copies of everything you have relating to the issue in writing. If you have a report, if you have a soil sample, for example, um, delineating or, or explaining specific um, environmental problems regarding the property, you better make that public. You better disclose it and you better do it fast. Failure to disclose in a timely fashion is also a big problem. I have sellers saying, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I told them about the problem. Okay, that's great. Once the buyer has already invested in EMD, time, money, paid for reports, paid for disclosures, and then you invest the problem at the very end, or, or, or you 
um, disclose the situation at the very end of the escrow. Here is what it comes down to. Could you have done something to ameliorate the problem? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, and if that something is predicated upon communication of information in a more timely fashion, you're guilty. If there's something you knew, you better tell it fast and you better tell it to your agent. Now, I like to think of agents as doctors and lawyers. Don't lie to them. It will only hurt you. Tell your agent everything you know and let them decide what's material and what's not. Many times a seller will come up to me and say, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I could have sworn this was a lemon tree. Turns out it's an orange tree. Sometimes problems are not that, cru that crucial or that critical, but uh, then again, the converse also applies. Every now and again, I have a seller saying, well, I didn't know I need to disclose that there's oil bubbling up from my ground. Is that really an issue? Yeah, it is. The EPA would need to be called and involved in this. It's kind of a big problem. So if you don't know what, what constitutes a big problem, a legal problem, or most importantly, a potential lawsuit, ask your agent. I guarantee he will. And if he doesn't, call me, because I will. 909-559-5275. Thank you so much, folks. And I will be adding this segment weekly. We will be talking about common questions from buyers, common questions from sellers, what to do, what not to do, and most importantly, how not to get sued, folks. That's it for this week. Thank you so much. And remember, call me anytime on my cell. Z Real Estate can be reached at 909-999-6888. I can always be reached at jonathanzuckerman.com, zbanker at aol.com, zrealestate.net, or you can follow me at Twitter at Johnny Z Banker. Thanks so much, folks. Have a great day.